Hi, I'm Wild Bill, philosophical and religious affairs correspondent for Red Beard Pirate Radio, and this is a Wild Bill opinion piece for the 4th of May, 2023. I recommend this for free thinkers, an alternative schema of people. I don't recommend this for mainstreamers, so please forgive me if you are a mainstreamer and you caught this by mistake. A Wild Bill Opinion piece. Facebook asked today, do I want to advertise a charity or a charitable organization for my birthday? Weird question, Facebook. I believe in the hands-on approach when I have the resources. So let me ask you guys, what beats a 16-cut pizza or two at your local homeless hangout? Or buying an old friend down in his luck a meal at Eaton Park? I am not my brother's keeper. Seems like a great soundbite, but it won't make God smile. And, big reveal here, Making God smile is our purpose. See, physics is boring. Astrophysics is bored and punctuated by shouting matches. Imagine what it's like for God, knowing that now he set it in motion, I have a video about it, the universe is totally yawn until something goes wrong. Like a clockmaker or model train engineer, he only needs pay attention when the sound changes, when the mechanism squeaks or grinds or stutters or sparks and smokes. Then he wakes up, checks the system status, worries over minuscule details, hidden micro dimensions, who comes up with this stuff? And once satisfied, leans back into his chair to resume his nap. And that's all he's got to do. I imagine he gets bored. Seems to me like the smarter you are, the easier it is to get bored when there's nothing to do, nothing to engage your mind. So what entertains a super smart, super powerful being? Seeing or hearing something he didn't expect. And that's where man comes in. Man is almost predictable, but he's not. Give a man enough rope and almost anything could happen. Forums, governments, a better way to slice cheese, oxyclean, flagpole sitters, the pensioner's army, Arab Spring. You never know when some ordinary looking human will do something so bugger all that it redefines the species. We make God laugh. I bet sometimes we make him cry too. And there are and these are the events that punctuate his immortal omniscient boredom. So we're important. We're important to God. Our purpose in his system is to surprise or titillate or amuse him by doing something wonderful or boneheaded, something unpredictable. Our job, so to speak, is absurdity. From that perspective, we're doing what we're meant to do, fulfilling our purpose. Beyond that, I believe we should have an ethical prerogative. I vote for providing basic needs to everyone. I don't want to be like Prince Gupta, who had never seen hunger, sickness, poverty, or death till he took that fateful chariot ride. He so overreacted to things learned that day that he henceforth increased the misery of the poor through his philosophy of inaction and individual journey toward cosmic revelation. The poor people among whom he settled provided him, formerly the second richest man on earth, with food and drink and clothing, warmth and shelter, and he gave them back nothing but empty words. Nothing matters. Give up. Let the wheel crush you. The ants eat you. The future forget you. You don't matter at all. And you don't think God was laughing his holy ass off watching that community of poor as dirt farmers feeding and fetting that deadbeat dad of a world's richest man because his dad had died in the interim? Folks without resources helping a rich guy get fat. Look at the statues. Consider that if Prince Siddhartha really believed in his words, he would have refused the comforts offered and passed into moksha. That would have carried his message far more honestly. Wild Bill Cox, 4th of May, 2023. Don't forget to do something today that will make God laugh.